Good evening. Welcome to St. Gabriel. Today we gather to offer the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass of the Easter Vigil. If you have been participating in the Rice Bowl, please remember to bring them back. Include your contact information on the box to receive credit for this donation, and please seal the box if it contains loose coins. Thank you. Parish offices will be closed all of next week. There will be some staff on hand to support already scheduled events. Offices will reopen on Monday, April 8th. Please check out the bulletin and the parish website for these and other announcements regarding events going on in the life of St. Gabriel. Just to mention, there is a program available that will help you because there are only three songs on the board and that's when after um, Gloria, the Gloria Mass begins. Uh, the other songs are in your program. If you didn't get a bell to ring during the Gloria, there's baskets of bells out there. Also, there is one song um, during the beginning that is call and response, and everybody gets to participate. And it's uh, the one we did last year, The Exodus. And if you were here last night and heard Father's wonderful um, promo for that number, I just wanted to tell you that my husband is sick tonight, so I'm going to be singing it. <laughs> so help me. So it goes like this. Sing the song of freedom, and you guys do. Sing the song of freedom. God has won the victory. God has won the victory. Horse and chariot are cast into the sea. Horse and chariot are cast into the sea. Nice, and there are four claps before each time, and I'll help you with that. All right. Everyone is invited to gather outside as our liturgy tonight begins at the Easter fire. You may stay, remain seated in the church if you are not able to go outside.
Would you help to sing the Christ the light? We begin the session in. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. The light of Christ, thanks be to God. The light of Christ, thanks be to Exalt, let them exalt the host of heaven. Exalt, let angels, ministers of God, exalt. Let the trumpets of salvation sound aloud our mighties. 
king's triumph. Be glad, let earth be glad, as glory floods her, a blaze with light from her eternal king. Let all corners of the earth be glad, Knowing an end to gloom and darkness. Rejoice, let Mother Church also rejoice, Arrayed with the lightning of his glory. Let this holy building shake with joy, Filled with mighty voices of the peoples. It is truly right and just, with heart and love of mind and heart, and with devoted service of our voice, to acclaim our God invisible, the Almighty Father, and Jesus Christ our Lord, his Son, his only begotten, who for our sake paid Adam's death to the eternal Father, and pouring out his own dear blood, wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. These then are our feast of Passover, in which is slain the Lamb, the one true Lamb, whose blood anoints the doorpost of believers. This is the night when once you let our forebears Israel's children from slavery in Egypt and made them pass dry shot through the Red Sea. This is the night that with a pillar of fire banished the darkness of sin. This is the night that even now throughout the world sets Christian believers apart from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin, leading them to grace and joining them to the Holy Ones. This is the night when Christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld. O oh, wonder of your humble care for us, O oh, love, O oh, charity beyond all telling, to ransom a slave you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessary sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. O oh, happy fault that earned so great, so glorious a Redeemer, the sanctifying power of this night dispels wickedness, washes faults away, restores innocence to the fallen, and joy to the mourners. O oh, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth, and divine to human. On this, your night of grace, O Holy Father, accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of bees and of your servants' hands, and evening sacrifice of praise, this gift of your most holy church. Therefore, 
O Lord, we pray you, let this candle, hallowed to the honor of your name, may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasing fragrance, and let it mingle with the lights of heaven. May this flame be found still burning by the morning star, the one morning star who never sets. Christ, your Son, who coming back from death's domain has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. As we radiant in the light of Christ now, I invite you to blow your candle, but hold on for a moment before all the wax might get out on your clothes. Or, so blow it and hold on for a few moments. My sisters and brothers in Christ, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved his people, and in these, the last days, has sent us his Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete his paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. I invite you to be, be seated as we listen to God's words. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son, Isaac, your only one whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a holocaust on a height that I will point out to you. Early the next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey and with the wood that he had cut for the Holocaust, he set out for the place where God had told him. On the third day, Abraham got some of the place from afar. Then he said to his servants, both of you stay here with the donkey while the boy and I go on far yonder. We will worship and then come back to you. Thereupon, 
Abraham took the wood for the Holocaust and laid it on his son Isaac's shoulders while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two walked on together, Isaac spoke to his father, Abraham. Father, Isaac said, yes, son, he replied. Isaac continued, here are the fire and the wood, but where is the sheep for the Holocaust? Son, Abraham answered, God himself will provide the sheep for the Holocaust. Then the two continued going forward. When they came to the place which God told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood around it. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. Here I am, he replied. Do not lay a hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from him your own beloved son. As Abraham looked around, he saw a deer caught by its thorns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Abraham named the site Yawiriye. Hence, people now say, on the mountain, the Lord will see. Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall have possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
blooded portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. <coughs> I invite you to please stand. Let us pray. O God, supreme Father of the faithful, who increased the children of your promise by pouring out the grace of adoption throughout the whole world, and who through the Paschal mystery Make your servant Abraham father of nations, as once you swore. Grant, we pray, that your people may enter worthily into the grace to which you call them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward, and you lift up your staff, and with hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two. The Israelites may pass through it on dry land, but I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. Sing the song of freedom. Sing the song of freedom. God has won the victory. God has won the victory. Horse and chariot are cast into the sea. Horse and chariot are cast into the sea. The angel of God, who had been leading Israel's camp, now moved and went around behind them. The column of cloud also, leaving the front, took up its place behind them. It came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of Israel, but the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed without the rival camps coming any closer together all night long. Sing the song of freedom. 
God has won the victory. Horse and chariot are cast into the sea. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night, and so turned it into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the Israelites marched into the midst of the sea on dry land, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Sing the song of freedom, sing the song of freedom. God has won the victory, God has won the victory. Horse and chariot are cast into the sea. Horse and chariot are cast into the sea. The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them, right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch just before dawn, the Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud upon the Egyptian force a glance that threw it into a panic. He so clogged the chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel, because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Sing the song of freedom. God has won the victory. Horse and chariot are cast into the sea. Horse and chariot are cast into the sea. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians upon their chariots and charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head on toward the sea when the Lord hurled them into its midst. Sing the song of freedom. Sing the song of freedom. God has won the victory. God has won the victory. Horse and chariot are cast into the sea. Horse and chariot are cast into the sea. As the water flowed back. It covered the chariots and charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped. But the Israelites had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. Sing the song of freedom. Sing the song of freedom. God has won the victory. God has won the victory. Horse and chariot are cast into the sea. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in him and in his servant Moses. 
Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. Sing the song of freedom. Sing the song of freedom. God has won the victory. Horse and chariot are cast into the sea. Horse and chariot are cast into the sea. Sing the song of freedom. Sing the song of freedom. God has won the victory. God has won the victory. Horse and chariot are cast into the sea. Horse and chariot, horse and chariot, fear and loneliness, fear and loneliness, death and emptiness, death and emptiness, horse and chariot are cast into the sea. Horse and chariot, horse and chariot, hate and prejudice, hate and prejudice, chains and slavery, chains and slavery, horse and chariot are cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I invite you to please stand. Let us pray. O God, who ancient wonders remain undim in splendor even in our day, for what you once bestow on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of your right hand, now you bring about as the salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth. When we pray that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's birthright through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The one who has become your husband is your maker. His name is the Lord of hosts. Your redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, called God of all the earth. The Lord calls you back like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit, a wife married in youth and then cast off, says your God. For a brief moment, I abandoned you, but with great tenderness, I will take you back. In an outburst of wrath, for a moment, I hid my face from you. But with enduring love, I take pity on you, says the Lord, 
your Redeemer. This is for me like the days of Noah, when I swore that the waters of Noah should never again deluge the earth. So I have sworn not to be angry with you or to rebuke you. Though the mountains leave their place and the hills be shaken, my love shall never leave you, nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord, who has mercy on you. O afflicted one, storm-battered and unconsoled, I lay your pavements in carnelians and your foundations in sapphires. I will make your battlements of rubies, your gates of carbuncles, and all your walls of precious stones. All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. In justice shall you be established, far from the fear of oppression, where destruction cannot come near you. The word of the Lord. Please stand.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, surpass for the honor of your name what you pledged to the patriarchs by reason of their faith, and through sacred adoption increase the children of your promise, so that what saints of all never doubted would come to pass, your church may now see in great part fulfill through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Hear, O Israel, the commandments of life. Listen and know prudence. How is it, Israel, that you are in the land of your foes, grown old in a foreign land, defiled with the dead, accounted with those destined for the netherworld? You have forsaken the fountain of wisdom. Had you walked in the way of God, you would have dwelt in enduring peace. Learn where prudence is, where strength, where understanding, that you may also know where are length of days and life, where light of the eyes and peace. Who has found the place of wisdom who has entered into her treasuries? The one who knows all things knows her. He has probed her by his knowledge. The one who established the earth for all time and filled it with four-footed beasts. He who dismisses the light and it departs, calls it and it obeys him, trembling. Before whom the stars at their posts shine and rejoice. When he calls him, they answer, here we are, shining with joy for their maker. Such is our God, no other is to be compared to him. He has traced out the whole way of understanding and has given her to Jacob, his servant, to Israel, his beloved son. Since then, she has appeared on earth and moved among people. She is the book of the precepts of God, the law that endures forever. All who cling to her will live, but those will die who forsake her. Turn, O Jacob, and receive her. Walk by her light toward splendor. Give not your glory to another, your privileges to an alien race. Blessed are we, O Israel, for what pleases God is known to us. The word of the Lord. Korea. 
precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who constantly increase your church by your call to the nations, graciously grant to those who wash clean in the waters of baptism the assurance of your unfailing protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who make this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stirred up in your church a spirit of adoption, so that renew in body and mind 
we may render your undivided service to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated at the Old Testament. Lead us to the New Testament. We read here from the epistles. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him, through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as being dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early, when the sun had risen, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. He said to them, do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He's been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go and tell the disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Believe it or not, this is the intermission. I gag that. There's four parts to celebration today. We've gone two, which is the blessing of the fire and the procession of the candle. And then we listen to God's words. So the next two is the baptism and the Eucharist. That's our celebration in four parts today. So because it's a continued celebration, so my opportunity here to say a, a word of greeting to all of you. Welcome to Easter Vigil and welcome to uh, St. Gabriel Parish community. What a beautiful way for all of us to gather here this evening. You know, Jesus was a Jew. His disciple was a Jew. The first Christian was Jewish. So guess what? We all continue on in that tradition. And that's why we read those uh, Hebrew scriptures, you know, in darkness. And then Christ come to give us the light. Jesus, as he said, I am the light of the world. So how do we, how we have begun and continue on. So these readings are incredible readings to remind us this holy night is the granddaddy night of all night. If you ever have any kind of vigil celebration, this is it. So that's why you only intermission. There's more to come. But the history of salvation of God begin with you know, suddenly the creation, right? God created everything, the universe, and ultimately the people. And God has chosen, you know, the Israelites to give them what God would say, you know, that they're God and they are, you know, his people. But guess what? You know, they weren't quite sure. Perhaps God had limited them things. Isn't that like us in our family? Remember years of growing up, years of family? We thought our parents was you know, not so great. <laughs> Perhaps they limit you know, our true potential. <laughs> so that's what happened with the Israelites. They thought God just limited them in way, the law, and all of that. But as they had lived it out, they soon find out, you know, that without God, they're not. They come to darkness and a lot of things gone wrong. So guess what? God has the rescue mission. You know, send Jesus, son, 
So through the fulfillment, as we celebrate tonight, Jesus, in Jesus, we are created anew. We become new creation of God. And that's why the church will baptize the elect tonight through the water of baptism in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, as St. Paul said, they will become a new person. So to all of our catechumens, to this water, you know, beautiful Exodus song that you heard, that's water. You know, the Passover of that Red Sea, the water of death. You know, we have new life. So to all of us who have been baptized, guess what? We had 40 days season of Lent, you know, to correct ourselves and to find our way back to God. And so throughout this uh, Easter season, we'll renew our baptismal vow. And we too, like the newly baptized, will be part, you know, of that family of God. And so as you have some of these, uh, these uh, uh, programs here on page, uh, you know, after the inside cover, the third page, you see some of these catechumens being baptized. I just want to at least acknowledge you, their names there, and you will hear them respond. Their name first, and in parentheses, those who will uh, be confirmed, that's their confirmation name. You know, just like Abraham, become Abraham, right? So are our newly baptized who will be confirmed to faith as well. New name, you know, signify their new person. Or the person, or saints, or the angels that they, you know, take after become their patron saints. Someone they can ask for intercession, or look toward them, their holiness, that they can become in that new person. You know, that's the first point about creation, the story of creation. The second story is the story of, of Abraham, uh, <laughs> Abraham, who God told to sacrifice his son. So he brought along, what a story, so powerful. You know, and the end of that story is Abraham passed God's test for him. Isaac still alive. But Easter to our Christian faith is also a new sacrifice that the Father has sent his son. And on this Calvary, you know, he was crucified. You know, he was being nailed on his hands and his feet. Did anyone come to rescue? No, unlike Isaac, nobody came. When he was crucified, and the Roman soldier make sure that he's dead before the Sabbath day. Did anyone stop that Roman so soldier lens to his heart? No. Easter, as we celebrate, is a new sacrifice that we incorporate in the life, death, and new life, resurrection with our Lord. It is a tremendous gift of God's love for us. So that's why our catechumen wear red. So what the, what's red mean? What the color red means? Love. You love someone so much that in our Lord, he willing to die for the one that he loved. You know, Matthew, 
our senior member of the class. <laughs> I, want, I want to show you this, Matthew. He gave the rose to everyone who wore that. Guess what I incorporated then? It looked perfect, isn't it? Perfect. You know, all the red that you have, you get in the rose of red. That signify of God's love. That right on the cross here. That every time we look at the cross, we're reminded of God's love for us. He becomes a new sacrifice that we, every time we come to worship and celebrate Eucharist, we incorporate into God's new life. So my third point is Easter can be a new Passover. Did you enjoy that song of Exodus? You know, the people was res rescued, and guess what, Lori? You just as good as your, your husband. <laughs> you agree? You <laughs> We heard her husband last year, so he was planning on doing that, but a uh, little sickness, he couldn't recover in time. And step in is uh, his wife and our music director. She did just a good job for that. We thoroughly enjoy that. But it is a Passover. The Feast of Passover on Holy Thursday is, you know, so that Pharaoh can let the Israelites go, right? That original blood on the door, so it's Passover. But it's not just that one Passover. When Pharaoh had let the Israelites go, guess what? They chased after them. So the beautiful Red Sea story is not a Passover to them, you know, from dangers. So ultimately, their Passover is to, from slavery to freedom. So my third point that we reflect today is that we too, as we come to celebrate and have followed Jesus, it is his Passover from this earthly life for those who believe in him to new life and eternal life. So we are asking to pass over as well, just as the catechumens, they will pass over from the world that they have known and lived, some of them for a while, now to a new way of life, taking on God's rules, God's love, the community that they become a part of. So they can go on and pass over from their old form of life to a new way incorporate in Christ to the community. You know how wonderful that is. And I, as young as a member at Pharaoh, right here, she got all her family here. I think proudly grand, <laughs> grandpa here as well, sitting between her parents and uh, other grand, uh, the grandma, also, and beside of that, she, she's the youngest, but two pews of people, family come. What a wonderful way. And back here as well, too, a whole host of Walla Marlin, you know, family and friends and sponsor. What? That's a Catholic. Catholic just means universal, the faith and the love that truly incorporated all. So indeed, today, we are not only a new creation, you know, a new sacrifice in Christ, but also a Passover to a new freedom. It's freedom not to do what I want to do, but a freedom to truly accept and embrace a new way of life to God's Son, Jesus Christ. So may we, with our catechumens and candidate for full communion of the Catholic Church, you know, truly become of what we celebrate today, 
a new creation, a new sacrifice in Christ, and a new freedom to worship the Lord, to love the Lord, and to share that love with others. So now we move to our third part of our celebration today, the beginning of baptism ritual. Would our catechumens please come forward with their sponsors? Dana Johannes, Nick Johannes, Savannah LaRoche, Alex Pablo, Matthew Roach, Nancy Rosenbauer, Farah Swan, Alex Flores, and Johanna Flores. Dearly beloved, with one heart and one soul, let us, by our prayer, now come to the aid of these of our brothers and sisters in their blessed hope, so that as they approach the font of rebirth, the Almighty Father may bestow on them all of his merciful help. I invite everyone to please stand for the litany of the saints that we call on, not just who present here, but all the saints to intercede for all of us.
So now we ask the Lord God to bless the water of this farm so that to this living water that will give new life to your servants. O oh God, who by invisible power accomplish an, a wondrous effect to the sacramental sign of who in many ways have prepared water, your creation, to show forth the grace of baptism. O oh God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world creation hover over the water so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power of sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowing regeneration so that water received by the Holy Spirit, the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature created in your image and washed clean to the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of all may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children to water and the Holy Spirit. So we ask now, Lord, in this Easter candle. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this fawn, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Springs of water bless the Lord praise and exalt him above all forever Springs of water bless the Lord praise and exalt him above all forever Springs of water So all of us who have been baptized had promised to live the way of, of God and also profess our faith. So now we join together with our catechumens for them, for the baptismal promises and express their faith in the Lord. So my sisters and brothers, to the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so as our elects renounce sin and profess their faith, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we, re we once renounce Satan's and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you to respond to these questions.
to take place at this time. Lena, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Alex, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Nancy, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Father, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Alex, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Johanna, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Everyone is invited to come to the font and bless themselves. <laughs> she got all of it. <laughs> Do you need some privacy, Father? No. Oh. No, fine. <laughs>
And we do have two people who will be receiving the full communion of the church. They've been baptized. And now after... Candidates for full communion, will you please come forward with your sponsors? Jackson Brady and Zach Torin. Jackson and Zach, of your own free will, you have asked to be received into the full communion of the Catholic Church. You have made your decision after careful thought under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So I ask you this very important question. And your response would be, I do. Do you believe and... So, are they now ready with the newly baptized to receive the second sacrament of confirmation? But since Jackson and Zach already baptized and received the candles of baptism, these newly baptized now dress in their white garment. So the Easter color is white. The garment of baptism signify that the newly baptized is receiving this new life in Christ with God's grace for them. And you all continue to support in prayer for them. And so now the church will give them the light of Christ not that vigil candle that they share with us at the beginning of the service today. But if you look at these new candles, they all have baptismal symbol as they now walk in the light of Christ. Receive the light of Christ, Nicholas. May the light of Christ Continue to guide you so that as you journey, we are journey with you in that journey of faith and Christian life, that we all may welcome Christ when he comes again. So you have received the light of Christ. You have been enlightened by Christ. Walk always as children of the light and keep the flame of faith alive in your heart. When the Lord comes, may you go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. So my dear friends, born again in Christ by baptism, you have become member of Christ and his priestly people. Now you are to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us. The Spirit sent by the Lord upon his apostle at Pentecost and given by them and their successors to be baptized. The promised strength of the Holy Spirit, which you are to receive, 
will make you more like Christ and help you to be witnesses to his suffering, death, and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be active members of the church and to build up the body of Christ in faith and love. So, my sisters and brothers, let us pray to God that God will pour out the Holy Spirit on these candidates for confirmation to strengthen them with his gift and annoy them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. So I invite everyone, if you please stand with me and we pray for these candidates. <laughs> invite you to extend your right hand toward them and ask the Holy Spirit to come down on them. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you free your sons and daughters from sin and give them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be, be seated. So all the candidates will be receive sacred chrism, olive oil, blessed with perfume, the fragment of that oil will help you to help others to see, you know, the wonder fragrance that from your life, your love of God will help attract others to Christ. And so I will annoy sacred chrism on your forehead, the side of the cross, and then extend the peace of Christ to each one, each and every one of you. Nicholas, be sealed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you. Dana Michael, be sealed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Alex Joseph, be sealed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Savannah Michael, be sealed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Matthew Joseph, be sealed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Nancy Faustina, be sealed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Sarah Hubert, be sealed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you.
Johanna Cecilia. Be sealed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Wow, <laughs> what a beautiful sight. They're all grave in white, symbolize a new, new person in Christ. So we are indeed have a lot of new uh, family member tonight. So let us welcome and applause them with us. Congratulations <laughs> on this special one. So they're not done yet. There's the last part called Eucharist because they will also receive the third sacrament tonight as they encounter and receive the Lord Jesus into their heart and mind. So I invite you to return to your, to your pew. You can blow out your candle. And together, I invite you to please stand that we now pray together for the whole church, our neophytes and Holy Communion of the Lord and to society and everything that Jesus come to redeem and save us. On this most holy night, let us pray with one mind and heart that the joy of Easter may be shared by all the world. For all believers, that their faith in the resurrection may make them joyful messengers of salvation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For Pope Francis, Archbishop Paul, Father Fong, and for all those who serve the church, that they may proclaim the good news of the empty tomb, we pray to the Lord. For nations and peoples of the world, that Christ's peace and justice may reign forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our parish community, that we joyfully bear witness to the resurrection with renewed enthusiasm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the electing candidates, welcome into our church this night that they may die to sin and rise to new life of the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick, Paula Brown, Dick Coolin, Sharon Russell, John Sauer, and Roberta Schreiber, and those dying for the suffering and the imprisoned, for the addicted, the abused, that they may be freed from their infirmities and recreated in the life of the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our deceased brothers and sisters, Ophia Borowski, Demetrio Reyes, that they rise to new life of the victorious Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our own special needs, those prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts and for the intentions of those who have asked for our prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Father of life, author of love, in raising your Son from the grave, all creation has been reborn. May the life and the love of the Paschal mystery that we celebrate this night be a constant and lasting reality in our lives. We ask this in the name of Christ, our risen Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated as we prepare our gifts we brought with bread and wine that will become the very body and blood of Christ that we receive to nourish and strengthen us.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, our and the good of all his holy church. Except we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that what has begun in Paschal mystery may by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. But on this night, above all, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, for Jesus is the true Lamb who had taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death, and by rising, restore our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly power would enchant his hosts. Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending thou your spirit upon them like to do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave us to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaken of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Archbishop, Eusebio, Frank, our auxiliary Bishop, Peter, our retired Bishop, with all the Bishop, with the clergy, and all of your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed Apostle, Saint Gabriel, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. this holy night truly become a new person in Christ, joy in his sacrifice, a new sacrifice, and a new Passover to that freedom to worship and to walk with Christ. With faith and with confidence, let us pray as Jesus have taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, how be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church. May and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, the risen Christ, who take away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Just a few quick announcement, uh, a word of thanks. Certainly, the liturgy wouldn't be uh, much of a liturgy without music. So, you help me to thank our choir, our director, musician, <laughs> guitar, piano, pianist, and uh, organ music, and all the choir member. You know, you used to. Wear red, we know we lo uh, you love us and we love you. But you wear white now, it's a pure love. <laughs> but also, a, a big word of thanks to uh, certainly our lit liturgies uh, uh, team with uh, Annie, uh, Tyler, Deacon uh, Guild, and our altar server, and those who are behind the scene and especially those uh, wonderful cantors that we hear music as well, too. And thank you to the Knight Columbus who helped us with the, the Easter fire and many along the way that help us uh, just watch you coming in. Just a beautiful vigil with candles. How precious this night truly is. And thank on that team is our uh, Frank uh, and... Um, uh, Steve, uh, doing all the sound system and all of that. So we, uh, we tape you so with live streaming so other can follow. So, so you have a, a copy of, uh, of your special day if you like <laughs> and from that perspective. But a true gift of word of thanks to all the sponsors and family members and uh, friends who come to to celebrate uh, this wonderful night uh, as to just welcome our, our newly baptized, we call them neophytes, you know, and look at all of them in white. You know, I remember um, I attended a few uh, medical uh, students. Guess what? They, there's a ceremony called white coat. You know, you look like a medical student. And perhaps you follow someone who is a true physician, not only heal the body, but also heal the soul, the spirit as well, too. So perhaps white, meaning you are pure and you know, a new person in Christ, but in that you imitate the best of the physicians as well, too. You know, and thank you for all... Uh, liturgical minister from Eucharistic minister, lectors, ushers, and everyone behind the scene, especially the, the team that uh, put on a little reception. You are invited uh, immediate after Mass in our community room, which is on the, just the back of the church there, uh, to congratulate our newly baptized and neophytes and, and full, re, uh, full communion with the church as well. So thank you so much for being here uh, on this special night. But let me ask you, you know, tomorrow I saw some of the kids, so they, they will have that day tomorrow, right? With the Easter bunny. So, you know, fighting all that aches. So what do you think uh, the best uh, 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 Easter bunny uh, favorite sport? You know, to have eggs, you have basket, and so how is your bracket of <laughs> Magnus? You know, they're supposed to have final four, so did anyone have all final four <laughs> the bracket? 
so, uh, so let me ask you, what does the Easter Bunny story they, that they like the best? Easter Bunny. The story that have Hoppy and Day. <laughs> Which is all of our newly baptized here. We hope that you have a very many stories to tell with very happy ending, right? So how does Easter end? Kind of a trick question. The word Easter end with the letter R. And R stands for resurrection or risen. So there you go for your humor of, of the night. <laughs> so once again, thank you everyone and may we go forth in a truly blessing of our risen law. Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this Paschal Sacrament one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go oh, in the peace of Christ, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God.